Hey there, Tony with Field Peace here, and let me share with you three pro tips to help you pull a vacuum easier, faster, and better. Starting with pro tip number one, increase your flow. Now the first way to do that is remove valve cores from the surface ports using a valve core removal tool. The Philippines VC2G makes this job even easier and faster. So first you connect your core tool onto the service port of your system. Now you, now you don't have to do it super tight, just finger tightens good enough. Okay. Now, now the VC2G has an enhanced grabber so that it'll more securely grab onto the valve core and not drop it without having to make adjustments to the tip. So you get your capture rod, screw it onto the end of your core tool here. Insert the grabber until you kind of feel you've engaged with the valve core. Okay, and now once you feel that you've engaged, you can use the comfort spinner to easily unscrew it from the service port. Now you can use the sight glass of the VC2G to visually confirm that you've captured the valve core the first time without having to play the game of did I get it and repeat the process multiple times. So you can see there I've captured it. Extend the capture rod all the way out, close your ball valve, and you've securely and easily removed the valve core to increase your flow. And then repeat the process on the other side. Now with your valve cores removed from the service port, go ahead and perform your repair and then do a pressure nitrogen leak test to make sure that you have no leaks and then you're ready to pull a vacuum on the system. Now in order to maximize your flow, connect your vacuum pump directly to the system using larger diameter vacuum rated hoses. Now in this particular setup, I'm using two 3 8 inch diameter vacuum rated hoses from my vacuum pump directly to my valve core removal tools. Now, for a more accurate micron reading, connect your wireless MG44 vacuum gauge to the side port of your VC2G and use the second ball valve on the side port of the VC2G to properly isolate your micron gauge from the flow of refrigerant when you charge the system back up. Pro tip number two, Use the gas ballast to extend the life of your vacuum pump oil. Now using the gas ballast properly is pretty simple. Once you're all set up and connected to the system ready to pull a vacuum, you wanna open up your gas ballast. On the fill piece pump, it's pretty easy. You have a quarter turn knob here, turn it up to open up the ballast. Now, with your ballast open, you're ready to start your evacuation. Now you'll notice with the ballast open, the pump is gonna run a, a little bit louder and there might be more exhaust coming out the side of your pump. That's because with the ballast open, it's allowing some outside air through the pump in order to exhaust more of the water vapor coming from the initial stages of evacuation rather than letting it deposit into the vacuum pump oil, thus extending the life of the oil. Now, when most of the moisture is gone from your system or when you're around 3,000 3, microns, you should go ahead and close your gas ballast so that your vacuum pump can achieve a really deep vacuum. On the fill piece pumps, you have a blinking yellow LED to indicate to you that your gas ballast is open so you don't forget to close it. Pro tip number three to pull a vacuum easier, faster, and better is to ensure that you have clean, dry oil in your vacuum pump. And with the Run Quick oil chain system, checking and changing the oil in your pump has never been easier. First, you have a large sight glass with the blue backlit LED to easily show you the condition of your oil. Now while you're pulling a vacuum, once you start to see your oil begin to get cloudy or just really dirty, and you see that your microns have kind of stalled, it's a good time to change your oil. And with Run Quick, you can change it without stopping what you're doing and not turning off your pump. So let me show you how. Number one is you open your ball valve to drain your dirty wet oil from your pump into the empty oil cartridge underneath. Once that's done draining, close your ball valve. Make sure not to forget to do that. Take your dirty wet oil, put it to the side, and take a canister of fresh oil that's stored in the side of your pump here 
open up your large oil fill cap, take your clean fresh oil and just pour it into your pump and you've changed the oil on your pump while it's running in less than 30 seconds with no mess. Take your empty, take your cap on the empty cartridge, store it under there, ready for your next oil change. Now keeping your vacuum pump oil clean and dry allows the pump to maintain a tight seal which will help it achieve a deep vacuum fast. And there you have it, implementing these pro tips like increasing flow by removing Schrader valves, connecting your pump directly to the system, using larger diameter vacuum rated hoses, along with using the gas ballast to, in to extend the life of your vacuum pump oil, and making sure you have clean dry oil in your vacuum pump will help you pull a vacuum easier, faster, and better. For more information, go to philpeace.com. Follow us on social media at Philpeace Products, and as always, stay tuned for more videos.